Hello folks, Sid Miramontes is here with Miramontes Capital and in this week's program I'd like to cover high taxes and inflation and what that means to your retirement accounts. I want to use an example of Terry who retired with us oh here within the last year's period of time and when Terry retired she was about nine months from 59 and a half years of age. So when she's planning for her retirement our concerns were making sure that she wasn't going to be hit with the penalties that are required when you're not 59 and a half years of age. So what we did was Uncle Sam allows us to leave money in your 401k plan at your existing company when you retire as long as there's separation from service as long as you are left the company they let you leave money in your 401k plan and we can withdraw from that plan without any penalties of course there's taxes but no penalties. So in her case what we did was we left enough money to cover us for a nine month period of time until she were 59 and a half years of age. So what happened is we rolled over everything except for the money that we needed for her nine months period of time. So in that way, we took away the, the concern for a penalty on her funds. We also took a look at, she also had a Roth IRA account as well. So we were taking a look at if it was more beneficial for us to withdraw from her Roth IRA account or her regular IRA account. We decided that in her particular case, it would be more beneficial for her to retire and withdraw from her regular IRA account and leave her Roth money to grow so that she can withdraw that, that monies from a Roth tax-free down the line and let it grow even more. So that was our planning in her particular case. The other concerns were inflation. Well, if we're able to put money in the Roth account and let it grow for a longer period of time and grow tax-free so when we make withdrawals from it, we can, don't have to pay any taxes on the growth, we decided that we would put her funds to help us beat inflation in a growth-centered program with those dollars. So what we did again, we left money in the 401k plan, withdrew from it for the nine-month period of time, then took money from her regular IRA account when she was 59 and a half and lived off of that and left her Roth IRA account for further on into the future so it could grow and grow and grow. So when we took money out of it, that would give us a, the best possible chance to beat inflation. If with those or any other questions, folks, we look forward to your calls. Thanks so much.